Every one of us was once tricked, scammed, or fished to gain access to our accounts, share our data over the internet, or to send money to someone else. And I'm honestly sick of hearing how unconscionable people try to trick others. So this video is going to be helpful for you, for your mom and dad, and even for your grandma, and for everyone in the world who is using the internet. But before we get started, let's make sure you hit that big fat thumb up button below, subscribe to our channel, and also let me introduce myself. My name is Sergey Kromchenko, I'm a software QA engineer, lead manager, and a senior engineering manager of SDAT in the past, but these days I'm helping people like you to become a QA engineer from scratch or to improve your existing skills. Now, let's kick it off! The easiest and the most efficient way to trick you is to simply make you click the link that you're not supposed to be clicking. You might get an email from someone saying, hey, I'm your friend or whatever, you got a job offer, hey, click the link to get it. Before you click the link, you can simply mouse hover it and you will see a URL that you are about to go to. If that link looks suspicious, if that link is not what you are seeing in the email, that means that someone is trying to trick you. And usually there are two ways for it to go. The first way where they add a hyperlink to the text. So they will just say, hey, click here. And you will see here in the blue text. That means that you don't know what URL is. You only see here. So make sure to hover that text and see where does the URL go. The other trick is to put the URL something like https colon slash slash facebook.com slash registration. But the hyperlink will be different. So whenever you see link, guys, always mouse hover that link make sure that that link corresponds to the message or to the actual url you're seeing as the text and only then you can proceed if you fully trust it second one and actually the one that i went with one of our students recently through so one of our students did receive a job offer that you guys can see right here and it says that hey congress with a job offer we're we're moving forward we would like to send you an offer so you start working with us etc 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 and our student got excited she was like oh wow i got a job offer congratulations to me let's get started but then i was like well that sounds a little bit suspicious that interview was text based that's the first thing you guys should always see if something looks too good to be true always double check it and the thing is when i have asked her to send me a screenshot of the email address the email was litera.teams and i was like that looks suspicious and i looked up litera company over the google and i was like well the official website is litera.com and since i'm a software key engineer lead manager the senior manager of that in the past with the 10 years of experience i'm like there is no reason in the world that the company will purchase a separate domain for an HR team or for recruiters or for any, any team within a company. You have one domain, you can make your emails look whatever you want with that extension, litera.com. And when I ask her to give them a call or send them an email to the official email address from the company on a website, which ends with a .com, they said, hey, we're a legit company, but this is a fraud. So whatever you guys are getting job offers, by the way, in the 21st century, this is one of the most common scams or phishing attempts in order to get your personal information and your social security number. So as you guys could understand, we did send an email saying, hey guys, you are scammers, we're not moving forward with you. So whenever you are getting such a job offer, please, Double check an email, Google the company name, and make sure that company has exactly the same domain name as the one you are getting an email from. By the way, second of attention, if you guys are interested in changing your career and becoming a QA engineer from scratch, I prepared a one week introduction course into world of quality assurance so you could try yourself before you decide to change your career. If you're interested, I'm going to leave a link right below this video. Let's continue. Urgent requests or threats. One of the people that I know from 10 years ago when I went to bootcamp myself in the Silicon Valley, he was an immigrant from Eastern Europe, for Armenia exactly. And he said when he came to US, he was afraid of everything, just like majority of us. We do not know or we did not know what to do, who to trust at the beginning. We were scared of everything. Do we do things right? So scammers do use that threat of urgency. And right before an interview with Google, he got a call from IRS and saying, hey, you owe us taxes. And if you will not pay them off within 
one hour, we're going to send the police to you. And the guy was like, oh, sure, I have an interview with Google, but that's much more important to save my ass and stay in the United States legally, so I'm going to run and pay it off. So he ran to the bank, he tried to send, he tried to get money out of the bank to send it to, to those scammers. And while he was doing that, he realized that there is too much urgency and he did not verify any of the information of those people. So he started asking them questions and then during the conversation, he realized that they were scammers. And what he did, he dropped the call, he ran to Google for his interview for the QA engineer position. And he did not get it because he was all sweaty and in a rush. He could barely breathe after the run for five minutes or 10 minutes nonstop. So here's the conclusion. Do not trust people who call you over the phone, check their information and make sure them to send you an email with an official domain name. If it's irs.gov, well, it's the irs.gov. Whatever official website is, make sure that it is used in that particular email. Emotions, that's my favorite because I was tricked twice in my life. Once when I was a kid, I didn't count that. The second time was about half a year ago. I used to work on the farm in North Dakota in 20, 2009 until 2013. And I had a lot of Ukrainians who also worked on that farm. And recently I opened up Facebook and I saw a post from my farmer, the guy who I trust a lot, the guy who helped me to grow as a leader in the United States. And I saw his post that he with an image of car crash. It was, it was saying that, hey, thank you for so many years of working with me. I'm so sorry that it did happen to you, my friend. And I was like, oh my goodness, it was one of my friends, one of the Ukrainians who I used to work with. And without even looking at the URL, which was present on a Facebook, thanks to them, I clicked it and within a second I realized, oh shit, someone is using my emotions. And I've closed that website. I'm pretty sure they got my password, my cookies already. But what I did, I have changed my password right away to make sure that they did not have a chance to utilize those cookies with the, with the password so they could recreate my session. So whenever you guys see something that makes you feel very emotional, try to always calm yourself down a little bit before you click the links. And one more time, make sure to check URL or to mouse hover the text to see if that is actual URL that is legit or some scammer's website like was in this particular case. And now, the most effective way that can help you even if you have been scammed. Two-factor authentication. If you guys enable two-factor authentication, such as SMS to your phone number or an email, or even a Google Auth app, if you're familiar with it, that would be the best, regardless which way you pick. Second-factor authentication will not let people to log in your account without getting access with your email, with your phone, or with your Google Auth app. These five things are hyper important to know, but they will honestly not matter if you guys will not get enough water, sleep, work out, if you will not subscribe to our channel and hit that big fat thumb up button below. I'll see you next time.